Hi and welcome to Student Management System developed using PHP, CSS, Bootstrap, HTML and JavaScript. Now let me show you guys how this works. Right there, let me select the course ID faculty and let's go for science and technology and let's say the school is computing that the mode of attendance is full time. 2009-2020 year best assume is final year student and right there student ID title let's say it's Mr. Danny Danny Dodgy and date of better dodge is 12 there and mail and let's come right down here enter the tutor's name let's say that's Felix Felix Johnson and the course code Post title let's just say that's computer science that's yes and that'll be no it's not a postgraduate student it's not a research student and in here address of mr. dodgy let's say is five big town road Okay, let's enter his email and so on. Okay, that is personal details have been entered. Now we just need to enter the grades of Danny. So let's assume those are the grades. And right here, we just enter the project. Here we couldn't enter anything because it will not allow you and that's as you can see said new record inserted successfully so let's come in there those are the new record if I try to ins insert this record again the system will actually highlight this very email check that out it's telling me someone else is already using that email let's say I go back in there and just change that very email to let's say we have Dennis okay we can even adjust this but before then let me just show you the data that we enter of Danny in right in here press F5 or just, let's just refresh and right here those are the details of Danny in there that we just entered so let's go back to the program itself and in here I'm going to change some of the data in there so we change this to 89 and come in here 92 and let's go for another 90 and maybe this one 88 and let's click on academic grade now there we go it's now a first class student new record inserted successfully as you can see and let me show you guys the database so let's come back in here and just click on the database and right there that is Danny's information as a first class student as you can see so what I'm going to do now is to take you straight into notepad plus plus and we'll put one of these together so let's do that now guys and welcome back to notepad plus plus the next thing I'm going to do now is to go to straight to the language and let's select P and just click on PHP then come right down here and save the file let's save this file as grades okay that's fine with an S and just save it right there and I'm gonna enter the following now the first thing I would like to do is to let's enter a title in there that's student management system right and right underneath here I'm gonna enter the link that I'm gonna use for 
this project from my from what I've copied from uh, Bootstrap. So I'm just gonna paste that in there anyway. I'm right there. Now, what I'm gonna do now is let's go straight to the body. Right inside the body, I'm gonna call the following class, and that class is going to be just to define how the interface is going to look like there. And I can always enter more class in there. Now let's come straight to you see where I have the form. In the name, in the case of the form, I'm gonna call the name and that the name of my project is just gonna be called let's say student or go for student. Right. And close that up. Now the method that I'm intend to use is going to be as follows. Get rid of that and just enter method equals. It's going to be by post. And what about the action? There we go. That will be the action. In this case, I'm just going to call the action student db. So student database dot php that will be for the action now let's divide the whole system now so that's going to be my first division and that is going to be class is going to contain as follows so let's say if we say contain or container so that I can adjust my website the way I want and in there I'm going to say rule class equals rule there we go right so the next thing I like to do now is to divide this rule into four I'm going to divide it into into four because bootstrap do allow you to divide into three and two 12 columns so I'm going to divide my columns into four for each and that will be three so let's come in and just say column as M and just make that four right that one is out of the way and maybe I should just use this opportunity to enter a title in here so I'm going to say H. Let's say the class for this is going to be background. And in the case of this background, I'm going to just call it secondary. This you can find inside Bootstrap. So let's say secondary. Just go to the background, you should be able to see the different color and the fonts would be let's say A is going to be oh come on get that right there and let's make that bold right um what is text um uh, shall we go for white or black let's say white and close that every single one of this class is from bootstrap okay you get all about the background here there's different colors in there if you say information or info there and you can even use either white or dark gray now that that is done I'm just gonna enter B in there to make it bold and information let's get that right yeah okay let's say bold close that and close this font size as well yeah now 
maybe I should just draw a line underneath here to draw that line I'm going to say HR and let's call one of the bootstrap class as well MB dash 3 and there we go all right I think maybe we should try this out now okay so let's go straight into our browser and right there just enter the URL press enter and there we go course information I don't know if you guys can see see this there's a line right underneath here good let's go back to the codes okay the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a table here and right underneath here let's close that table And inside the table, I'm going to enter the following. Now, first of all, let's just come in here and say that is for my role, and I will now enter a table. And in there, inside the table data, let me say I have course ID the very first one and that very course ID that will be my the first thing that you guys will see and I'm going to just close that in here now that of course ID is closed let's change this to D and I'm going to open another one the second one is going to be let's just call that select because I'm going to be using option there select name and the name is going to be let's just say course ID as well course ID that is the name and the course ID itself let's enter an ID for it ID equals I course ID okay yeah I'm gonna call that call it I cos ID yeah I let's put an I there paste that cos ID and close that up now what about the style the style I'm gonna define the size so that I can define my own very horizontal width so let's come in and just say it's going to be 200 200 pixels and what else do I need and I'm just going to enter a margin and make the text align right now right underneath here let's say option and the value equals let's just enter a space in here so that'll be the name for the very first value and this just close that up and there will be nothing in there open another one close the option that's the very first one so I might as well just copy this to make life easy for me copy paste paste and paste the next option I'm gonna call that science and technology no it's, it's actually science technology engineering and mathematics so in here the cost code for that because it's just a cost code I can just say STM let's make up this this uh, the cost code right and the next one let's make that up so maybe we we'll go for something legal studies legal studies um the name the course code let's say ls there and let's make up another one all right the first 
let's assume the first option box is already taken care of I'm going to try this out let's go straight to the browser let's click on that and refresh there we go so that's the first option box taken care of so let me just come back in here and speed that up there the second option box so have a good look at it so this is for faculty now come in here save that and come right here and just refresh we have the second op option box first second and I'm gonna make another one of those let's just copy and paste okay guys more option box has been added so take a good look at it I just have to speed this up because it's taking a bit too long now so let's save that and come right here to the browser and see what we've done so far okay let's refresh there we go guys look at that that's great okay what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna enter let's come right down here and say break and enter some more option box okay I've just added more one more table and on that very table I've added the following input okay so let's save that and let's go to the browser just take a good look at that now come straight to the browser here and refresh there we go guys so what I'm going to do now is come straight here and let's speed up things a little bit so come right down here press enter and just speed it up there so take a good look at the lines of code from the top bring it down a little bit so it's exactly the same lines of code and because it's taking too long already I just had to speed this up okay there's another table right here that you've just seen earlier on and this another table with some options there for student ID title and so on alright take it down so that you guys can see it okay here are the subjects there so I'm just gonna save that and let's go straight to the browser and refresh that there we go though there's nothing happening now and that is how my interface look like and those are just my two buttons one for reset and one for the grading here I have the project hours times two in total there eight subject one two three four five six seven eight project is two and in here that's where I have the total score and average score but the thing with the total score average score and classification you cannot enter anything in here however you can enter some value in here but none of these buttons works so nothing is going to happen so let's come in here for these three text box in there as you can see let's look for total here are the buttons the two buttons okay now classification as you can see read only okay overall average read only total score is read only okay that's why we cannot enter any data in them all right so I'm going to come back in here let's just refresh so for now guys with that I'm going to call it the first part of this tutorial and I see you guys shortly